Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Uh, good to be back. Best seat in the house, I'd venture to say. This is a new functional art sculpture piece from Jeff King. What it takes to be a partner in pairs, inspiring song at 84 years old and the blues for Christmas with David Gogo. That and more in the next 30 minutes. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Bergen. Glad to be back after a week off. And a big thank you to Annette Lucas and Jocelyn Matwe for filling in while I was gone. Artist Jeff King is well known for his wildlife paintings and his murals. That's him there. He's now completed a four-year project, and we're going to take a close look at that later on this edition of Go Island. We'll find out what Jeff has been up to and where he's going next with all of his talent and skill. We're going to start, though, with another type of talent and another kind of skill altogether. It's figure skating. What does it take to be one of a pair and compete in figure skating championship levels? Well, here's Rayanne LaPlante to tell you more. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is artist Jeff King. As mentioned earlier, he is well known, you are well known, for your murals and your wildlife. And you've been doing a lot of work up island lately? No, actually, I've been spent the last two summers in Prince Rupert. Okay, what are you doing there? Painting murals. I've got 11 murals up there so far in the last two years, and they got me booked again for next summer. So it looks like I'm spending my summers in Rupert. Beautiful place. Love it. People are immensely friendly up there. <laughs> and they like me. <laughs> awesome. Now, but you don't consider yourself a mural artist. You are an artist first and foremost. Murals just happens to be one of the things that you do. Yeah. It's just, well, that's one of the things I did when I first started. Then I got into, you know, as an artist, you got to look for every angle you can to try and make, make a living, right? Signs. I'm doing cedar sandblasted signs, and I'm actually mixing in my airbrush work with it, and they've turned out very nice, and I'm getting lots of response on that. And that pretty much keeps me busy through the winter doing signs for people. I've got three on the go right now. And like I said, I can combine my airbrush skills into the sign making. So they're very unique signs. Now, nobody, you know, you know, you may have seen the one up at the Colliery Dam or Westwood Lake. There's a bunch around Rutherford Hill. Right. But, you know, so. What makes you so good at what you do? I know that's a, a strange question, but you're an expert. You're a master at what you put out. And, and where does that come from? <laughs> Stubborn, pig-headed. Perfectionist? Perfectionist, <laughs> perfectionist stupid. Because you put so much time into every detail that it's... Speaking of stupid, this was stupid. <laughs> okay, he's saying we're here to talk about my latest project. We're going to leave our viewers in a little bit more of suspense. We're going to take a short break and we'll be back with, uh, with Jeff's tale. And I'll tell you why it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come today on Go, helping others to sing in key, the tradition of Christmas crafting, and a local must-have for your holiday music collection. That and more still to come. Did you know that at the Port Theatre we have an I Go to the Arts program? And that allows high school students to get into the theatre for many of our performances for $5. You're watching Go right here on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is the latest creation from artist Jeff Ginn. We're going to take a look in just a moment. This is your assistant here. Looks like he needs to be prepped a little oh, bit for television. Jesus. <laughs> this is Duke. You probably recognize him. He's quite famous in Nanaimo. I hear he gives blood. Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. He had he's had getting spleen old. Oh, look. Oh, he's done it right on. Oh, oh no. Yes, you're a lovely beast. Because you haven't done enough polishing on oh, this. No, that was th we'll get back to that stupid thing in a minute. <laughs> So why, I mean, this, it's beautiful. Yes. It's functional art. It's yep. a departure for you as an artist from what you've been used to doing. Yes. Tell me about your process and why this uh, is it here. It was suggested to me, oh, oh God, it had to be four or five years ago by um, someone that, if I could, if you create, why don't you create something that's functional, that, you know, right. make a piece of work. So you're supposed to sit on it, right? Well, yeah. let's sit on it. It's, okay. It's a seat. It's a seat. seat. Ooh, and it's ooh. meant to be, and it's meant to be. It's not really the warmest seat right now because <laughs> of these minus eight degree temperatures that we're freezing. But um, tell me about how you made it. Like, what was your process? How did you start? What's involved with creating something like this? Well, first of all, it all started out with uh, a wood frame, spray foam, 
and a lot of sanding and carving, and then fiberglass, then Bondo, and then more fiberglass, more Bondo, and then a, a coating that had to all be polished up, and then we had to make a mold, a fiberglass mold, and then after the fiberglass mold, we had to pour a couple masters. We poured one master that's hidden away in the garage somewhere, and we poured another master to so I give it to the foundry. Kevin up at the Wellington Foundry, big plug, <laughs> great guy. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, uh, not like I, you. I, 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 yeah, well, that's why we got along. <laughs> uh, and he, and we took it. I cut it into ten pieces. He cast it. He welded it. All, they welded it all together and then gave it back to me. Now, where the stupid part comes in is, I decide I'm going to sand it and polish it instead of leaving it with a factory finish. I decide I want a shiny, shiny, shiny one. Well. So how many hours did that take you? How about two and a half weeks? Six to eight hours a day. Let's see your hands. Well, it's just not, I was black like a coal miner every day. Yeah. Like just because aluminum, when you, it just makes like black dust. It was just, this one is. This is, is the one, one of a of kind. One collector's, a collector's edition. Edition limited <laughs> from the artist. And you do have another one over here. So we have the aluminum finish and then we also have concrete. We have a concrete version. Let's yes. take a little walk okay. over here and have a look at this one. I can picture these on a street in a park and near a pond. I think they should be on every street corner in Tofino and you clue it. Oh. Again, this is a bench, right? Yeah, they should be on a, I think they should be up and down the waterfront in Nanaimo as well. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to talk about some other ideas on where these tails and more about the process from artist Jeff King with his new project after we take a trip down to Victoria. Dan Kahn is introducing us to an inspiring woman who at 84 years old is teaching people to find their voice. I can actually relate to that story on a couple of levels. I've visited Lebanon. My family is from Lebanon, so there are some Lebanese in me. I'm proud of that fact. And I am one of the people who doesn't like the sound of her own voice, even when singing Happy Birthday. I can talk, I just can't sing. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're going to have more conversation with artist Jeff King later on this edition of Go Island. This is actually one of his paintings and that is what inspired his whale tail sculptures. We're going to tell you about plans to uh, have these appear in communities across the world. I think it's safe to say later on this edition of Go Island for more insight into the caliber range and depth of Jeff's work. You can visit his website www.blastworks.ca. We're heading over to the Comox Valley now. Kate Brown looks at their tradition of Christmas crafts. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're sitting on the latest work from artist Jeff King. It is a cement whale tail weighing in at about 3,500 pounds. It's going to take a crane to lift this thing. And when it is lifted, where do you hope to see it and anticipate seeing it being lifted to? Where is your work going to end up? Well, you know, one thing about being 3,500 pounds, I should say, is it'll never be stolen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Added security. <laughs> Added security. Um, where do I see it? I, I, I can see it along waterfronts all over the West Coast. I can see water, waterfronts in the Atlantic. I can see it on Caribbean Islands. Anywhere the, there's a love for marine wildlife, uh, there's a, a fan group that's huge, obviously. Both, both can be turned into fountains. Both can, they can, there's different, there's different uh, structures that way each, each one can be made in um, installation. Like you can, there's a version of this where the slab is actually underground. You don't even see it. All you see is the tail coming out of the water. Oh, that's cool. Right? So, and you can just back it with sand and, or grass or whatever you want, right? <laughs> and I'm just thinking right now, I'm back and I'm going over time already, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. By the time this show hits the air, we will have made our 30 minute mark. I just ha have, has the sculpture now grabbed you? Are you going to do more? Is this something that you've been inspired by as well, a process? If, if, the, if these do well, I thought, well, you know, a nice, a next, and the next one would be um, use an eagle and you sit on its wings, right? Yeah. Or you could do a salmon somehow. Or you, or you could do a, a pig and call it a pork bench. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. I know. It's endless. Uh, flowers. It's endless. So you could do flowers. Right. You know, yeah. custom orders for butch art gardens. Oh, here we are brainstorming now. Yeah, there's all kinds of, like, it's like I said, uh, functional art. It's like not just, it's not just a piece to look at. It's a piece you can participate in. Excellent. 
that's what art should be participatory. Throwing things over now to a story that I did actually last year, but we think it works. David Gogo released a Christmas CD under a little bit of duress. We're going to have another look at that story now because maybe you're still looking for that Christmas perf uh, perfect Christmas album. Last I heard, David Gogo was in Quebec and he's posting about hockey and food from Quebec. Of course, great things to experience there. You can get his CD through his website, www.daviddogogo.com. And he'll be doing his family thing at Gogo's Tree Farm on December 14th and 15th, handing you a saw as you come in the door. And he might try to flog you a CD out of his pocket as well. If you'd like to see more from Jeff King and his new project, Whale Tail, you can visit his website site. It is blastworks.ca. One more thing before we go on the art, entertainment, talent realm, that is Winter Harp. It's a Christmas tradition here in Nanaimo. It started 20 years ago and has been going every year since. There are two performances this year at the Port Theatre taking place on December the 14th. There's a 3.30 in the afternoon and a 7.30 in the evening performance. And thanks to the fine folks at the Port Theatre, we have a pair of tickets to each concert to give away. All you need to do is send me an email, kate.bergen at sjrb.ca. Tell me if you'd prefer the afternoon or the evening performance and we'll enter you into a random draw. Thanks Jeff for sharing his work with us today. Thanks David Gogo for being so talented. Thank you to all our reporters and I'm talking myself into a quarter. I better stop. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salon.